be sad. Really, these days are not permanent. They are temporary. The only time you should be sad is when you have drifted away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is something that saddens a lot of people. People become depressed. They become sad because your life is full of partying, full of gambling, full of adultery, full of drinking. How do you not expect sadness when you are far away from Allah? You want to combat the sadness. Come back to Allah. Come. Allah is waiting for you. Allah becomes so happy when you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if Allah is happy, he will definitely make you happy. My brothers and sisters, remember, sadness is something that you can do much about. And the evidence of it, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, do not be sad at this and do not be sad at that. You know, when Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu was with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the cave. So, he was with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he was saddened slightly. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam read verses that were revealed to him. La tahzan inna Allah ma'ana. A portion of it. Don't be sad. Allah is with us. Do you know what this means for me and you? How can you be sad when you know Allah is with you? How can you be sad when you know Allah is with you? No matter what they're going to try, it's only by the permission of Allah that they will be able to achieve if Allah wants them to. And it's going to be better for you either way. This is why I want to end with a powerful narration that I'm sure we've heard before, but it always brings about a lot of comfort in our hearts. Amazing are the affairs of a true believer. All of his affairs are always good. Nothing bad can happen to a true believer. Why? In asabathu sarra shakara fakana khayr Allah. Wa in asabathu darra sabara fakana khayr Allah. When goodness happens to a true believer, he is thankful. So it's better for him. It's good for him. How do you thank Allah? When you have happy days, my brothers and sisters, and this is one way of combating sadness that may be in your path. When you have Happy days, get close to Allah. Don't wait for the sad days to quickly turn to Allah. Although that is okay, but it's not good enough. The hadith says, Ta'arraf ilallahi fi rakha'i ya'rifka fi shiddah. Get close to Allah in days of ease. And you find in days of difficulty, Allah will be very close to you. You won't even feel. You will carry on. So the hadith says, when sadness overtakes a believer, sorry, not sadness, when something bad, you know, darra means something harmful, hurtful, something that is perhaps not to your liking, overtakes a believer, he is patient. He bears sabr. He knows the reward with Allah. And so therefore, it is better for him. This is why his affairs are amazing. Goodness happens, he is thankful. Bad happens, he is patient. But he's never upset with Allah. He's never angry. He's always smiling. He's always remembering Allah. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah. These are the words. These are the actions that will alleviate the sadness that we feel sometimes as human beings. Because a true believer is always taught the method of earning closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By which? All your sadness will be taken away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us happiness in this dunya as well as in the next.